Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well, wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and I'm in my shop today to share with you loads of the new fabrics that we, we have had in over the past little while. Not only is this the first fabric video of 2020, but it's also the first fabric video that I've done since I had my baby back. Um, at the end of last year so I should have a bit more muscle to now move the fabrics around a little bit more. I've got quite a selection, some of them are newer than others so depending on when you're watching this video they may or may not still be in the just arrived section of the website. Remember that is the section where everything new automatically gets posted there for three weeks after it's added onto our system so it's the, always the best and most up to date place to check for new stuff but what I'll also do is put all of the fabrics that I mentioned in this video into a blog post and a like link them all within that blog post so it means that it doesn't matter when you're watching the video if you follow the link to that blog post which will be in the description to the video then you'll be able to see all of the fabrics that I talk about so I've got quite a mixture of lots of different types of ones and um, some of them some of them you might have sort of seen on Instagram or whatever already but hopefully after this video then you'll know what ones we've got but I shall try and kind of group them into sort of similar types of fabrics just so it's not kind of two all over the place. So we'll start with stretch. Stretch is always popular and I'll start with the Tilly and the Buttons fabrics. We have had four of the different um, Tilly and the Buttons fabrics come in and um, these are cotton jersey and it's organic as well and we've got two stripy ones we've got this black one here and then we've got the one with the white background as well which i think is my favorite it's really really bright and colorful and um, it's quite lightweight um, t sort of t-shirt weight so good for t-shirts and tops um, and then there's also a pair of um, jersey pajama bottoms it's in Tilly's new book as well so it's good for that um, you might have seen pictures of that crop up on Instagram too and then this print here which is really cool it's like the hands and then they sort of make love hearts and the nails are painted all different colours on it as well and that's got a black background too um, so yeah those Tilly and the Buttons ones are the first ones that I wanted to share. Then it's keeping in the stretch department, we've also had quite a lot of more sort of novelty or kind of children's jersey prints too. My favourite one I think has got to be this zebra one here. It's really, really cute. I'll hold it up just so you can kind of get more of an idea of the scale of it. This also comes in a couple of other colours as well, so I'll show you that up close in a little clip. Um, this is cotton as well, it's more like a t-shirt weight but it's got a really nice weight to it. It'd be perfect for any kinds of kids clothes like leggings or jump like t-shirts or tops and um, or of course you could just make yourself a top with it as well if you like the sort of more novelty print and um, so yeah there's that zebra one and then we've also got an elephant one as well which comes in three different colors too and um, that's this one here and um, this one is multi um it's not directional because some of the elephants go one way and some go the other way so nice and versatile print and yeah three colours too and then we've got some other ones that's got tigers on it and we've got a lima one as well and um, so yeah just really nice fun colourful prints a really nice thickness really nice quality as well they're going to wash lovely and um, so yeah you will find them in my blog roundup too and then in terms of other stretch ones let me just see i've got these ones here they're quite heavy bolts i'm going to lug them up onto the table to show you we've got it we've got this fabric with four different sort of prints on it so the base cloth is let me get this composition right it is viscose, 65% viscose, 30% polyester and 5% elastane. It's what I would say is more like a ponte weight. You see that described a lot, ponte roma weight described on patterns or like a double knit. So it's quite a weighty fabric, but because it's got the elastane, of course, it's nice and stretchy. Um, and it's going to kind of hold, it, hold its structure like a little bit more than say a sort of thinner, cotton t-shirt kind of weight of stretch fabric and then it's got different prints on it so this one here it's quite a subtle print but it's more kind of warmer colors so there's a sort of maroon and a kind of very dark mustard and a gray and kind of like a almost like a sort of abstract leafy print and then we've also got like a blue more like a bluey color way of that one as well and then we've got one again it's like a very similar type of base cloth i'll just pop that one down and then i'll lift the other one up the fabric is very heavy so I'm like needing to use all my strength to lift it up here and um, this is more like a kind of floral pattern here which is really nice quite subtle and I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same base cloth yet is and um, 
so yeah good amount of stretch but also good amount of recovery so really versatile like I think you could make skirts with this you can make more kind of stru like structured trousers and um, you could make tops like the Tilly and the Buttons cocoa top you know it's got that sort of funnel neck on it that'd be nice because the weight of the fabric would hold that funnel shape really nicely um, and then we've got another one another print that's more like a sort of geometric one so yeah four different prints in that but all the same base cloth and um, the reverse of the fabric as well is actually just a plain grey which is also useful to have so if you're looking for something plainer I think you could choose either side obviously the pattern side is a bit more fun and um, so that's the other stretch one I've got and then the last stretch one that's like actually like a jersey fabric that I've got to show you is one this one that's behind me here this is from the new Liberty spring summer collection for 2020 and this is actually a medal jersey which I haven't seen Liberty do before this is like a new jersey base for them so it's nice and nice and floppy because medal has got that really sort of soft floppy slinky sort of property to it a gorgeous print really bright colors it's like a kind of dark bluey sort of purpley background and then really lovely bright flowers so we also have this on the classic tan lawn base as well but yeah as i said this is the this is the medal base here so i would say it's good for good for like tops and dresses and that kind of thing it's really really lovely fabric got such a nice handle to it as well and then we've got a range of that that same collection so the spring summer 2020 collection from liberty on lots of different um, lots of different prints on the tana lawn base so i just picked this one out to sort of hold up and show you this is one of my favorite prints let's see what it's called um little love it's lots of little hearts on a, on a black background and then it's got like blue and mustardy kind of hearts on it and um, so the tana lawn as always it's just really it's a cotton of course and um, really nice and soft quite floaty for a cotton lawn um, and nice and lightweight so good for loads of different things tops shirts dresses and um, i love using it for like contrast contrasting pockets or making bias binding from as well so yeah we've got that in a lovely selection of lots of different prints too and then <clears throat> sticking with the kind of designer theme of things we've had some of the new atelier brunette fabrics in as well so they have brought out some of their um, previous prints but in new colorways so the posy print here now comes in a smoky and a chestnut so this is the smoky colorway of the posy print this is on a viscose base but it's like a viscose dobby so it's got a really slight texture to it as well and then of course this beautiful print here so it's lovely and kind of floppy and floaty and lightweight possibly like little bit transparent this one just a little bit so depending on what you're making you may want to line it especially if it's a skirt um, but I would say for like a top or a blouse or something you wouldn't need to and um, so yeah that also comes in a chestnut colorway as well and then the popular dune print which was in three other colors before also got two new colorways in that again a chestnut and a smoky so this is the chestnut one here and this is again a viscose base but this is viscose crepe so it's got almost like a sort of sheen to it a little bit if i hold some out turn this around so i can show you um hopefully you can kind of get an idea of like the handle of it and the sort of weight of it this is not transparent at all it's a much denser fabric but it's still got that beautiful drape to it um so yeah it would be good for tops and blouses and dresses that are going to be lovely and swishy that's really nice so this is the chestnut and then it also comes in smoky as well and then they've brought out two planes which are similar to like the base cloth that the posy print is on so it's like a viscose dobby um, and it is coming again in chestnut and smoky so it's just yeah a nice nice sort of a plain one that's got like a little bit of texture to it also from Atelier Brunette they have brought out a new range of tensile fabrics tensile is just becoming more and more popular now and also more readily available too so we did have a range of tensile fabrics before but these are like the sort of branded Atelier Brunette ones so tensile is just a more environmentally um man like the way that it's produced is more environmentally friendly but it's very similar to like viscose and rayon it's just the process that ha that it goes through is slightly different but it has those sort of properties so beautifully soft it's breathable it's floaty it's silky and um, it's a really nice fabric to work with and a really nice fabric to wear as well so 
it comes in a range of colors all plain at the moment and this one is like a twill weave so it's got that sort of diagonal those like very subtle diagonal textures on it so it's really versatile like good for anything from trousers to dresses and jumpsuits and tops and tunics and all that kind of thing loads of loads of different uses for this fabric because it is just such a lovely fabric and yeah, it's got a really nice weight to it as well so that is the all, all new from Atelier Brunette we've also had quite a lot of the matching bindings from Atelier Brunette as well so um, if you're looking for them too you can check out the binding section of our website so sticking with the plain fabrics we've also had in this new cotton flannel fabric which has got a sort of brushed feeling to it so it's really really soft got this in four colors this one is a sort of darker pink darker pink color it's called rouge we've also got it in a lighter pink we've got it in a, a navy and a mustard as well this would be super cozy for just like a simple cozy shirt or some pajama bottoms or you could use it as like the lining of a bodice for something like for a coat um, it's really really lovely and so so just yeah a nice classic basic to have and then we have also had in a new range of plain cotton stretch sateen fabrics which are really good for like trousers and skirts just if you're making some basics for your handmade wardrobe and um, I've got the maroon one here to show you but it comes in four different colors so I'll show you them up close but yeah this is the maroon one here and it's just got a really nice weight to it and just yeah a useful sort of classic basic one to know that is there if you're making any sort of ward wardrobe staples I would say um, so that and it's 100% cotton but it's got 3% elastane so just a nice little bit of recovery in it we've also had this other one which you need to, you really need to feel this one to believe it so you're gonna have to trust me here about how soft this is actually feeling and um, there's also just a really heavy rain storm happening right now and it sounds so loud I don't know if you can hear it or not but if you can hear a weird noise that's what it is um, anyway this fabric here is let me just check what the composition of it so it's 97% cotton 3% elastane it's dark blue stretched cotton twill and it has got a really lovely thickness to it and the finish on it is just so soft it almost feels like moleskin it's absolutely beautiful a really nice navy color too i think this would make a beautiful pair of trousers or you could even use it to make a, a jean stretch jeans pattern like the ginger or something it's just really really nice so so soft and yeah just another good nice basic to have and then also in that similar sort of department of the kind of trousers skirt department or just like a nice classic plain dress and um, we've got these ones here this one comes in a black and a navy and it's called dotty daisy and it's so it's a stretch cotton 96 percent cotton two percent polyester and two percent elastane so mostly cotton so it's going to be nice and breathable to wear and it's just got this really lovely little flower sort of woven into the fabric so that's not printed on it's actually like woven in as the fabric's been getting made and the fabric's just got a really nice sort of subtle sheen to it and yeah just a nice little bit of give or stretch in it too so yeah navy and black for that one i think that's just something that's quite plain but just got a subtle little bit of interest in it really nice one there too and then moving on to things that are a little bit more patterned now we've had this fabric here which comes in two different colorways this gorgeous check is really lovely and textured it's a cotton and linen mix and yeah it just it's got just that really sort of rough kind of natural texture to it so this is more sort of greeny colorway and then we've got like a pinky sort of berry colorway in that as well I think that would be lovely for just like a nice sort of oversized shirt or blouse or you can make a nice dress with it or even a skirt paired with just like a plain top and um, so yeah another fun colorful one there in the check department and then we've also had this one here which is a bit more unusual but it feels really really nice as well this is a cotton but it's got a little bit of elastine in it three percent elastine so it's got a bit of stretch but the stretch is going um like up and down this way and it's like a very light um fine pinstripe red and white pinstripe and then one has got these little diamonds sort of woven into it and then the other one has got stars i'm pretty sure the stars are printed on but let me just check the reverse of the fabric and i'll be able to say for sure um note those stars are woven into it as well 
Um, so yeah, it's it's got a really, really nice sort of um, light drape to it. So you can see here, it's kind of floating around. It feels really, really soft. It's got such a nice texture to it. So I think that would be really nice for a top or a shirt or blouse or a nice dress. And then we've also had a really sort of classic visco scent, which has been so popular already. We've had to get some more, but we've got plenty this time. So you should, if you like it, then you shouldn't miss out. Um, it is a black and white spot and it's just on your classic visco space. So it's beautiful and soft and drapey. Um, perfect and, and I also think it's got a, quite a decent weight to it like it's not really too transparent so be perfect for dresses and tunics um, like the indigo the tilly and the buttons indigo something like that would be lovely for it you can see what gorgeous movement it's got in it there and um, so that one is that one is monochrome polka dots and viscose and then the last ones that I've got to show you are the ones that are just behind me on the rolls here I'll just find a place to pop that one back down so if you're still in the market for some wool fabric we have got some gorgeous wools still in stock this one here is particularly lovely it is 100 percent wool and it is this gorgeous deep plum color it's such a nice way it would make a beautiful coat absolutely beautiful and um, it's really nice and soft and yeah just a great choice if you're still in the market for making a coat this season and then we've also had this new one in which is navy let me just balance that one Ugh. this one here is navy but it's got little white spots sort of printed on it and it actually has interfacing on the back already it's like bonded already with a, a black cotton fabric on the back just to give it a bit more structure so yeah that would be another nice one if you want to make a coat and then we have also had two other lovely fluffy ones in in a sort of lilac color and a nice pinky color too they're really beautiful and soft and um, they've got a little bit more sort of floppiness to them so um, depending on the style that you're making you might want to um, interface that on the back just to give it more structure um, I do have a video on interfacing woolen fabric too on my youtube channel so if you're not sure about interfacing woolen fabric definitely check that video out and then the last one that is on the roll here I've brought one over to show you but we do have in four colors this is a cotton oil skin so it's 100% cotton but it's got um, that sort of oily waxy coating on it now if you have seen me talk about our millerain fabric before or if you've used that this fabric is a bit lighter weight than that fabric and the waxiness on it is also a much wetter wax. So it means that the fabric will naturally sort of crease and become textured and have a lot of character. So you can see already here, just at the end of the roll, as it gets sort of scrumpled up, like it gets these really sort of lovely textured lines in it. I think this would be really good for bags or little pouches. You could make a nice lightweight raincoat in it as well. What I would probably suggest that you do if you were gonna use this for a coat though, is um, underline it even just with some calico just to make it a little bit more robust um, if you were gonna make it into a garment like that. But otherwise they come, they're really, really nice, come in nice colors as well. This is the spearmint one, but we've also got a pink one and a sort of duskier a blue one and then a navy one as well. So that is all of the new fabrics that I was going to show you. Remember, they're all in the blog post that I'll link to in the description to this video. We've also had some new patterns as well, some of which aren't totally new, but they're just new to me saying them in a video. So I thought I'd mention them anyway, just in case you missed them. We've got both of the new green line patterns, the Thayer jacket and the reed skirt, and they also come in two different size ranges now as well for the green line patterns. We've had the new one from Closet Case, the Sienna coat. Um, I've seen some nice versions of that popping up on Instagram. We have had some of the Friday Pattern Company patterns in. This one is the raglan top, blouse rather, which is what I'm actually wearing just now. And then the Grace top and also the Av Avenir jumpsuit and the Adrian blouse. So the Adrian blouse and the Grace top are stretch fabrics knit fabrics and then these ones here are for wovens and then we've also got the new Telling the Buttons Bobby pinafer in stock so that's that you're you're looking at your denim and cords for that one something with a little bit more structure and um, so yeah link to all of them in the blog post as well but 
they're of course all available just generally on our website in the pattern section and then last but not least I also just wanted to show you some of these cuffs that we've had because you might have missed that we actually sell these cuffings so these are good if you're making a jumper and you're doing the cuff or like the band around the bottom of a jumper say on the green line patterns linden classic example and um, then these cuffs are really good and we've had some new ones in that have got a nice bit of sparkle in them so we've got this mustard one and then a grey one that's got like a sort of black sparkly bit in it this one's more like a navy background with a nice coral and gold stripe and then classic navy with three gold stripes but we do have lots of other ones too so yeah you can check out the full range on our website so i hope you found that useful just having a little look around all the new fabrics that we've had we do have even more new fabrics coming in that weren't, weren't going to make it in time to come in this video because meg um, my manager has just been on a buying trip to germany to get lots of new fabrics um, some of them are to take to the show as well the stitch festival which is in london at the end of february so if you're going to that make sure you come and visit our stand it's h43 because we'll have lots of new fabrics on there that haven't been in the shop yet um, but as ever if you've got any questions then you can always leave a comment here and um, if you want a quick answer to anything or if you want to know when any fabric's coming back in stock like maybe if you check a fabric on the website and it says we don't have any you could, the best thing to do is always drop us an email and then the girls in the shop can let you know what's happening or let you know when it's back in stock again um, I'll put the email address in the description to the video as well but thanks so much for watching and remember to hit subscribe if you haven't already to so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you next time thanks guys bye